Hey friends, so uh, good morning. I'm back with another tutorial on supplies. Uh, lots of questions from my students I see in emails or when I teach you know, Loudoun County um, workshops, I get what material. So I thought I'll dedicate one um, video for that. Uh, these are uh, Hakka brush or Haki brush. These are very simple ones, very cheap. I got a three in $10. Um, so try this. This is good for washes, very even wash. Um, not great quality, so you may try to, uh, if it bothers you, and within six months, one year you want to change, you can change. It's not expensive, so it's good. So these are the hockey brush I have. And then a very important ones, which are mop brushes. So I have these two or three, but I, over the period you will accumulate brushes, to be honest. But at one painting, you will not use more than three or four brushes, for sure. So these are very nice. This one is Da Vinci. Um, this is a pretty expensive one. Um, I gifted to myself a couple of years ago and it still is very good. This is squirrel brush. So squirrel um, it got to be expensive. This is the another alternative. It's uh, I think synthetic uh, Princeton. Um, maybe one fourth price of this but does kind of same work. I mean I'm, I'm, I do use these two quite a lot. Another one is round brush. So this is again from Silver Black. I use this quite a lot, this and um, these two. Sometimes I do the entire painting with these two. So this is a small round, uh, size six, black, silver, silver velvet. And this is a uh, 12. Then I have, over the period, accumulated few uh, flat brushes, which are very useful. So this is the smallest one, uh, one fourth inches. This is three fourth or half inch, and this is I think an inch. Um, these are good for uh, cityscapes, buildings. Uh, you have a horizontal edge. Um, even this is good for fences, uh, bigger ones like thicker ones. Um, even good for uh, reflections if you want to give it. It's it's very good. This very much used. If you have to buy one, I would say go with one fourth inch. Um, then I have a rigger, which pretty much everybody needs it. Um, this is a fine point, zero or one point, but it's a rigger. Uh, it says three, never thought of this is three. I thought it's one or zero. It's very, very thin. It's good for thin lines, uh, poles, wires, or any kind of those detailing. And then uh, people ask, what do I use for my um, color palette? I use this. This is, uh, I think, Mihello's color palette. It's pretty nice. It has a, um, so it, it, it has a rubber seal, so your paints don't dry. And if it dries, you just have to spray a little bit and it works. So uh, this is my color palette. Uh, people use what kind of uh, colors I use. So my favorite two are uh, Winsor & Newton and Daniel Smith. Both are good. Um, I experiment some colors I like from one brand over another. Uh, Winsor & Newton has one good thing that if you use some colors, which are really you use quite a lot and it gets, you know, over a short period of time, Winsor & Newton has 37 ml which you don't get in any other brand. So I order my Cobalt Blue, uh, Burnt Sienna, Ultramarine. These three I use regularly, or Raw Sienna, these four I have in 37 uh, ml. I do also like Camel, which I get my every uh, India trip. I get two or three sets of Camel. I love these for my... Um, Turner is not bad either. Turner and Da Vinci. These are both, uh, you get it here in US. Um, I'm sure you get other places as well, but these are cheaper compared to the other two brands, which I showed you, um, these both. So these are, this is the cheaper version and I don't find it there. I don't find much difference, honestly. So I like it. Uh, Cobalt, especially cadmium red. I, I love um, Turner's and Da Vinci has, um, Cerulean blue, uh, somehow I don't like in Daniel Smith. Cerulean blue is so chalky, but uh, in Da Vinci, it's a beautiful color for um, sky, water, reflections. 
and then um, color uh, paper I use mostly arches um, cold pressed this is a block I of course finished it so you won't see any but you have a block here um, and then it has a block of 20 pages um, this is pretty expensive so what you can the other alternative is you buy uh, sheets big sheets of Fabriano or Archie's and then I cut it whatever size I want so this is in one sheet if you cut in four um, pieces it'll be quarter sheet 11 by 14 inches and this is again half of 11 by 14 so that was all about supplies and as my mentor um, I love Milan Malik's work uh, as he says uh, you give the best material to uh, the new painters and the painting would still not be good. You give the worst material to the cheap material to established painters, painting will still be very good. So it's really don't get hung up on um, materials. Practice, practice, practice. I would say between colors, brushes and paper, what's the topmost priority? Uh, paper, if you have to, if you're thinking which one is the most important i feel paper is really it'll save you frustration so try good paper i i use cold uh, cold pressed is better uh, it works well with all level of people like beginners medium uh, you're more advanced you can try hot um, hot pressed and um, soft pressed uh, rough is another one which you do if you do that kind of work which requires a lot of um detailing uh, you want to see like old houses you want to see a texture it's very good for textural work um so that's all um invest in some good paper uh, buy a few colors brushes and practice daily happy painting see you next week